Today we will be using PTC Pro Engineer to design a peg shaped driver for our toy car assembly. Uh, to do so we need to cover two concepts. We're going to cover uh, what it means to be a valid sketch or a valid profile and also how to do a revolve feature uh, using Pro Engineer. So let's first start by talking about what it means to be a valid profile. So I've clicked on the rectangle tool and I'm going to put a rectangle down on my datum plane. And what it means to be a valid profile is it has to be a closed polygon. So it can't have any open sides. Uh, if I put a rectangle down here, this is a closed polygon. So this would be a valid sketch. Now, if I put a line off of it, I can't have any extra lines in my uh, polygon. So if I throw this extra line in here, this now makes it an invalid sketch. It's no longer valid. It can't be used to do a revolve. Uh, it also wouldn't be able to be used to do a extrude feature. Um, if I add a circle to this, clicking on the circle tool, if I put a circle on here, now I have a non-valid profile because I have lines inside of my polygon. However, if I use the delete line segment tool down here near the bottom, I can delete the inside lines of my polygon, take away these extra three lines here, one, two, and this curved one, making this now a closed polygon and a valid sketch. Uh, so as you add polygons to things or add new sketches, you have to make sure that it's closed. If I were to delete this line segment here on the left of my rectangle, I no longer have a closed polygon. Okay, I have an open side here. So I would have to add something. Now I could add an arc, um, I could add just a line, anything there, but it has to be a closed polygon with no external lines. Um, I also can't have any internal lines. If I've got one crossing or one that goes into the middle of this sketch, it makes it an invalid profile. All right, so now I've cleared my datum plane here. So we're gonna start by clicking on the circle tool and we're going to snap to the vertical line and you'll notice as you get close to the vertical line, your cursor will snap to that line. We're gonna left click once, once we've snapped to that line. We're gonna drag a circle out, we're gonna left click again and this won't do anything until I hit the center mouse button or that black rolling ball. And then it gives me some dimension lines. So I'm going to first dimension the diameter by double clicking on this dimension. I'm going to change that diameter to 30 and I'll select enter. You'll notice that the program automatically repositions this to a good angle. Then I need the center to this horizontal line on the bottom. I need that distance to be 90. So I'm going to double click on that number, select 90 and press enter. Again, it repositions our view. Now that's gonna be the head to our driver and um, we right now have a valid sketch but we're gonna create a body down lower than this. So I'm gonna grab that straight line tool and I'm gonna bring it down and snap to the origin and you'll notice as my cursor gets close to the origin it snaps to it. Now the interesting thing about Pro Engineer is when I left click I can start a chain and it will continue putting lines down until I center click or click on that black rolling ball. So I'm going to left click and drag a line out and you'll notice as I snap to the horizontal here above the midpoint of that line there's an H letting me know it's a horizontal line. So I'm going to left click again and start my second line. This one I want to be vertical and you'll notice as I snap to that vertical there's a V next to the midpoint of this so uh, lets me know that I have a vertical line. I'm going to left click again. I'm going to start my third line horizontal again. This will be the waistline of our toy car driver and one more vertical line here and as I click this I'm going to continue putting down lines as I said until I click the center mouse button. Since I've got all four lines that I need I'm going to click on the center mouse button and you'll notice I will get a bunch of dimensions up that I'm going to change. Alright so I'm going to start with the bottom and I'm going to re-dimension all four of those lines. We need this first horizontal line to be 15. So when I get the box popped up, I'm going to type in 15, 1, 5 and hit enter. And you'll notice that it repositions those lines. The first vertical line, we're going to change that value to 40, select enter. 
the second horizontal line, which will be the waistline of our driver, I'm going to dimension that to 5 and hit enter. And our top or top vertical line, rather, uh, we are going to dimension that to a value of 20. I'm going to select the arc tool on the right side here. We'll come over and we will snap a line to the head. And you'll notice that when I snap to it, I have to left click once to get that arc going. I'm going to snap to the top of the body lines that I put. And I just want a gentle uh, arc upward, kind of like a shoulder. And I'm going to left click a third time and you'll notice that my arc goes in there. Now to get the dimensions to pop up and get that set, I have to center click using the black rolling ball. And now I have a sketch. Um, I don't have a valid profile sketch, so I can't revolve at this point. Uh, but I do have to delete some line segments and make a valid sketch. So we're going to go down to our delete line segment tool. I'm going to delete two different line segments here. Um, the first one, the bottom of the circle between the vertical axis and my shoulder here. And the second one being the left side of that vertical axis. Now a lot of people get in trouble here because they think, oh, well now I have a valid profile. But you don't. You don't have a closed polygon here because the side from the tip of the head to the bottom here is not closed. That's just the construction line that's there. So we're going to grab the line tool and we are going to snap to the top of our head. We're going to left click. We're going to snap to the bottom of our feet where the origin started. We're going to left click again. Now we need to center click to set that line. And when we center click, we'll have all of our dimensions back up. And we have a valid profile now. In order to revolve a feature, you need to specify two things. First, you need to have a cross section or a profile that's a valid profile, and we have that. And secondly, you need an axis or a center line to revolve it. So we're going to click the arrow to the right of the line tool, and we're going to click on the dotted line called center line. It goes out to the right there. We're going to click above our uh, feature or above our valid sketch, snapped to that vertical line, and you'll notice that I can create my construction line in any angle. Well, I want this to be a vertical line, so I'm going to snap to the vertical line segment and you'll notice I get two parallel lines right in the middle here. And uh, that lets me know that I'm snapped to the middle. So I'll left click again. And then I have to middle click to set that construction line. So now I've got the two things that I need for a revolve. I've got a vertical center line here, which is a construction line. And I've got a valid profile, which I created of the body. The next thing I need to do is click this check mark saying that I'm done with this and I want to go to do my feature. Now I have the feature menus that I need. I'm going to click on the revolve tool down near the bottom there and this is going to change a little bit. Now it automatically defaults and if I left click my middle and scroll around a little bit I can change the angle of this. Now, there's a little square here. I can change this by left clicking and manually revolving this feature around that center line. Okay, In the upper menu here, it says that I dragged it to 168. If you notice, when I click on that black square again, I can begin to revolve this back and forth. And as my number up top changes, um, the number down below actually changes too. So the number is showing here. And right now I'm at exactly 300 degrees. I can change it either in my image or up at this top. Now I'm going to change that to be 360. The only thing that is keeping me from being done is again I will have to click the check mark. So I've got a valid profile sketch. I've revolved it around my center line. This looks like the driver that I was looking for so I'm going to click check. Now that I have my three dimensional driver. So we've covered valid profile sketches as well as how to do a revolve in Pro Engineer. Uh, hopefully this has answered any questions that you might have, and I thank you for participating.